Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Burgon playthrough here in Total War Warhammer 2. We're, we are actually coming to the end game of this playthrough. I've got three more episodes before I end this playthrough, guys. So, we are going to be on the war path as soon as we can anyway, guys. Um, where are all my units? Oh, we're dealing with Chaos Invasion up here. But yeah. So this is probably the last three episodes. I may do a few more if everybody complains and wants more, but I'm planning on ending it at the end of this week. Um, hmm. Let's buff up. Uh, we've already done the knights. Grail knights, grail guardians. Protectors of the realm. Actually, no, let's, let's buff him himself, Marcel himself up. And yeah, we are going to have to move in and deal with that next turn. And our Cedric there, our peasant paladin, if you've been paying attention to Wurzag's, uh, Wurzag's storylines, which are well worth reading in the comments, you'll get what I'm going on about there. Uh, but yeah, we need to deal with the Chaos Forces, and then we're going to uh, probably actually take out the Vampire Coast, because we're right there, and work our way down the coast. Um... As they are all definitely, the coastal factions are definitely we weakened. But obviously Itza is our main competitor in Lustria still. Because um, they've probably been left alone the most of everybody. Uh, we'll see how it all goes though. At some point I need to give Skeggy another go. As well guys, that does mean throw ideas. Try and use the OVO Lost Factions for suggestions for my next playthrough guys. And throwing suggestions out is more than welcome. Um, I know we've got a lot of calls for horde factions, so oh god damn. Spell cannons are the problem here. Um, if I can break out with this force and deal with the hell cannons, I'm good. I'm golden. The Hell Cannons are by far the biggest threat to us here. Um, so I'm going to try and have a massed charge out um, to take out those Hell Cannons. Um, which are actually really well positioned for us to do that. Our Paladin is going to lead the charge here. This is going to be a very unsubtle charge out of this gate and everybody else is actually going to hold back in the centre uh, in a far more defensive position. Oh, and my Knights of the Realm there. These guys won't necessarily all go there. I may spread them out a bit to try and uh, distract the enemy, but they are going to charge forth and try and deal with the enemies. Um, what I'm going to do is leave some archers on the wall just to do a little damage to them as they come in. Uh, with my towers, and then we're going to block, set ourselves up here nicely. Hmm. For the lady. My lord. Squire. And you can go over this side. What I want to do is oh god. Oi. Is not leave everybody. And you Squire. are gonna sit back. Are ready. Yes, I did see realize what I just did. Um, is not leave everybody too packed on top of each other just yet because obviously we have a few problems. We've got the hell cannons which can do a lot of damage to us so we're going to have some spears behind each of these just to uh, give them a bit more weight. And a couple of them over there to support that way a bit. There we go. Oh no, one of them. 
Long run, we'll probably merge these in together a bit, but I'm I'm happy with that setup, at least to start with. Oh god, there's no gate there. <laughs> oh god, I'm an idiot. Oh god. How many of you have been sitting there swearing at me in the comments? All of these guys are going to try and break out. We're not going to get them all out. As I said, some of them are going to get massacred on the walls. Let's hit those Chaos Trolls. These guys aren't going to be any use inside, to be fair, so... Try and break some of them out and around. Pause. You three can all pull back now. I may have left those ones too long. Onto those hell cannons. Keep the pressure on. I need you guys to actually break out. They are squishing us a bit here, which is absolutely fine. That was expected to happen. Right, push through. Push straight through, guys. No, why? Why do you keep doing that? Come on, Paladin. He's uh, kind of a... Oh, he's actually on foot, but he's being pushed by a... I didn't realise he was on foot. My yeomanry are holding the line there. We are hitting the hell cannons. Taking out those hell cannons is the most important thing in this entire battle. If I can take that out, the rest is easy. Right, you guys are going to start pulling back this way. I'm going to pull these guys back as well now, because they're inside our walls, so any time we spend not there is good. Right, all of my cavalry I want heading this way now. Smash those goddamn hell cannons. Hit that hell cannon, which is weaker. I'm going to say that, the, the massed charge out of the gate actually did a hell of a lot of, hell of, hell of, a lot of damage. Keep running, archers. Okay. Sorry, that was a bit manic. We've broken one hell cannon. Let's get onto the other. We've pushed them off the hell cannon. There's a couple of chaos dwarves left, but they are not going to last long. Oh, he's getting up! Drive them down! At speed! Lord of Quintonia! Shield, right! At once! Ready for orders! Withdraw! Okay, the, um, that's fine. We've actually dealt with them. Um, let's get everybody up here into this melee here. All of my knights up here into here. Onto the fields where our knights... Our knights worked well. They did their job. They died valiantly for the greater good. The Bretonia and the Um, they are slowly losing ground now. But that's fine. They've, they've done their job. They've actually dented these guys substantially as well, so. Let's 
Let's move some extra spearmen up here. Move them up there so they can support on that, that centre there as well. We're not doing terribly here. Let's turn and do a counter charge back this way. Not much of my cavalry force left, but can't believe I sent my, my paladin out on foot. I assumed he'd have him out incorrectly. He is covered in blood, but fighting. It was a beautifully glorious cavalry charge, guys. Let's be honest. Oh, I might even break this unit. No, my cavalry. Let's head in against those chaos spawn. No, you you can sit here in the open fighting. Good, we've broken their lord. Most of them are coming in here. I'm going to move another unit of foot squires behind. My paladin, Kiron Bumon, is uh, fighting against the chariots on foot. Being stabbed by the horses. Not the guys on the chariots. Oh my god. He is going to try and make it back to the front line. Lord. Let's move these unit foot squires back up. This unit foot squires can fall back a little bit. And my lord is going to pull back into the main thing. Ranged, hit him. Take out that chaos sorcerer before he casts an AoE on us. Ooh, that's going to be painful. Let's move my spears forwards and let's send some reinforcements that way because that is going to be chaos spawn are not fun and they are unbreakable so we have to kill every last one of them so archers take your marks and kill them because they are shredding us Things are going much better on this front. There's a lot of dead Bretonians, but there's a lot of dead Chaos Warriors as well. Okay, we're shredding those ca those steam those spawns. They've got some knights come in, which will uh, not really do hugely well against my uh, heavy units. Let's check my other flank. This flank is good, but let's uh, merge my units into one again a bit more. Peasant bowmen, stick them good. To war. Hit him. My paladin is still standing out here. If we can take out that there thing, A, it gives them a morale negative, but it's a really big thing because obviously he can potentially cast AoE spells on us, which would hurt. Their cavalry is beginning to come in in dribs and drabs after... Oh, we've still got some left on the field! Support the paladin! Knights and cavalry here. Some mounted yeomen as well as some actual knights remaining uh, from that battle earlier. We are the shield of Britonia. Kill them. Chaos. Here we go. Oh. And in we go and breaking them as soon as we hit. What do you see? Glory awaits! 
Beautiful. Oh god, let's um, unpin my camera. It's over! The chaos are forces are fleeing other than that. Forward! One lone chaos spawn. Bound charging through my settlement, which is gonna get everything charging it. So, you know, my cavalry are gonna hit this unit of chaos marauders, as is my lord. That paladin survived! Oh my god! He literally spent pretty much the entire battle outside our walls, guys. Now that, that was a glorious victory. The, the city of New Bagon held. Uh, we, we devastated the forces of chaos. But those again, don't get me wrong, they got a lot of kills, but yeah, we held. We lost a lot of good good knights and mounted yeomen today. We lo lost a lot of cavalry today. But they died for a good course, i.e. the Hell Cannons, which only got two kills apiece and probably melee kills. Um, so that's, that's exactly what I wanted to happen there because that's what we needed. Um... I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Exit. Ooh, ransom them for the cash. I didn't really need the cash, but... We did lose a bit of chivalry by doing that, but it's not hugely problematic. Oh, by the way, guys, I have been informed I am missing various UI elements because of the way I did this mod by turning it on later on. So, uh, or because I'm using Krunos, it's meant to use... Oh, God, God, it. damn it. More chaos. Mm. Replenishment rate, please. That's going to mean there's more chaos invasions down the coast, annoyingly. Uh, I suspect they're just going to keep throwing themselves at us for now. Blessings of the lady be upon you. For Bretonia. My main army just moving in to finish up. I go thither. Lord and the hero. I, will I am going to go for Itza next because they are by far the biggest threat. This force is gonna. Yeah, we're gonna move there. We're gonna actually siege out Itza herself. Yes. Um. Very well, I go. Protector of the realm. Hmm. You can't afford them. That's the problem. You can't really afford these either. No. Large peasantry force for you. Oops, I meant to look at it rather than click it. Never mind. Couple of units of knights in there for now. And I can always throw some of these in later on. Improved trade vessels, buffing up our trade. There we go. And obviously we're gonna start advancing down this way. We're gonna take the coast here if we can. And keep a watch for chaos. The lady grants you safe passage in these lands. No. Um, so we're going to move down to, to, to launch our invasion against Itza. I'm not so worried about the outer coast because, let's be honest, that outer coastline is going to be ravaged by chaos every time an invasion happens. And as I'm not up north, I can't really stop chaos permanently. I have to rely on the human nations to do that up there uh, with whatever's going on back home in the old world. So, yeah. 
We'll see. Skeggy are obviously still doing their happy thing there. And chaos are going to keep spreading chaos. It's just going to be a pain in the butt until I've wiped them out. Armored in faith. I'm actually going to go via C. This is my land. If the lady wills it. Sallying forth. My strength and wisdom are yours. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Hmm. Lord and hero, protector of the realm. Get a couple of units, more units of foot knights in there. He's got a reasonable cavalry force, so... Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, yes, please. It costs 8,000, but I've got plenty of cash at the moment. And it's clearing the text, which I need for that other guy to be able to actually pay for his knight so I can increase his force long run. It uh, is going to be a fight. Um, you know, it's going to be a big fight. But with our, with our foot knights, we should be able to take on the Saurus threat and wipe it, you know, once Itza has fallen, we've got control of that gold mine. We are in a very solid position. The rest of them will probably fall. I would so say we'll fall easily, but we'll be lesser. However, the downside there is they have had a lot, long time to bed in. So they're not going to be weak, but they're not going to be... Ooh! I can't be bothered. We're going to auto that. I don't have time! It was always going to be a victory, so... I'm a bit concerned by the levels of corruption we're getting. Uh, send the trinkets to Bretonia. A toi. Do you know who I am? No. My reputation precedes me. We're going to pull home for now, actually. I don't really want to be facing that at sea. Gonna drop them. Honor get before glory. Two units of pole arms in here as well, because that'll just give my foot knights a little bit more oomph. I say that they are anti-large anyway, so I don't really need the foot knights to do that. Yes, I am going through the quick attacks because of that mess up I had. In fact, they're barely even cheaper. We're just going to go for more foot knights, though. Uh, we're going to go for actual knights. Couple of units of Knights of the Realm for this force. Uh, giving it a reasonable amount of cavalry. So this is our more cavalry heavy army. And we are going to prepare for the move on it, sir. Yo, know, I'm actually quite happy for the elves to be there. I'm not planning on going to war with them, but I'm not, you know, anytime soon. I'm happy for them to hold that territory for the time being. No, you're still not getting a military alliance, however. Um, Vampire Coast needs scourging. However, I'm happy to be in the mainland, in inland of Lustria. Because this coastline is a pain in the butt, basically. This coastline just gets riven up by chaos regularly. Because um, chaos fleets spawn here and either go this way or this way or a mix of the two. Moving 
out. Armored in faith. I'll leave him be for now. My reputation precedes me. Oh, he's got a load of them at some point I can hire as well. Yes. Yeah, they are exactly the same. Go. That's a good, solid defensive force, guys. Um, of the lady be upon you. I'm not even going to be subtle Joey there. Awaits. It's a nose what's coming. Taking my leave. Charity, extra control, which is actually quite nice, and extra chivalry. There we go. The lady and then we will begin the siege of Itza. No. The great siege of Itza will begin. And the Lizardmen threat will be removed from our lands. Next turn. It is going to be a glorious battle. Um... Uh, with oh, we are being raided by a Bretonian lord, who has popped up into existence. Grants you safe passage in these. I suppose so. He can have non-aggression back while he passes through my lands, so long as he doesn't do too much nasty. Lord of Bretonia, protector of the realm. It's time. Attack! Slay them! Don't want to. I, uh, I say it's time. It's going to be you know next time we're actually going to do this. Hmm. Is there an anti-chaos one? Da -da 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 -da. I'm sure there was a, a chaos one. Oh, we've already got the chaos one. Okay, we're gonna go for steel furnaces next. Buff my knights up. So we're going to wait until we've got a couple of siege towers at least before we go here. Um, and then we are obviously going to Hail siege it. Now is the time. And, well, it's is not going to stand. We could take it as we are, but I want at least two siege engines, siege towers, because it just makes getting onto the walls a goddamn sight easier for my main forces. Um... I said so. Now that's interesting. My Grail Knights are not going to use for siege towers because they have perfect vigor. So going up ladders means nothing to them. And this is why I'm keeping an army, even though I'm currently running Skint. This is why I'm holding an army there because that chaos fleet's flowing up. You, but yes. you, but gone needs defending, and that is going to push me into a war sooner Fallen than I would lady. like. To be fair. For the lion. Strike them down! <sighs> anyway, that is where we're going to leave it for today. So next time, the Siege of Itza. Other than that, guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe. Um, massive thank you to my patrons. You really do help um, make all my videos possible. There is a link to my patron down below in the description, as well as one 
Well, or you can just hit join here on YouTube. It does the same thing. Please do consider that if you are enjoying my content and you can because it really does help the channel. Provides things like the boom arm, the microphone I've got, um, the shiny new, new screens I've got because I had to replace my screen because one of them died. Uh, but all that it really does help me produce this content for you guys. Other than that, everybody who watches is awesome, by the way. I don't, nothing gets hidden to just Patreons. Other than that, well, other than one chat in Discord, which has nothing in it. <laughs> other than that, as always, just watching, guys.